Okay, I figure this is as good of a place to do this as any. Now, I know I did a Destiny review, but I've been playing it a lot more, and I have more to say specifically about what people refer to as multiplayer in the game. It's called Crucible. This is versus, because, hell, it's multiplayer when you're playing by yourself in this game. You have to be up on the server. So anyhow, call this the shit for search algorithm reasons, the Destiny, Destiny multiplayer rant. Okay, first of all, good things about it. Pit detection's pretty good. This is from Bungie, they know their shit about that. Rarely did I feel somebody actually killed me before I killed them. And when that does happen, we both die. So, can't complain too much there. What I do have to say is that the vehicles are bullshit. There's no two-man vehicle in Versus in the Crucible. No teamwork there. It, give me something like a Warthog with a Gauss rifle. Something like that. Not exactly the same thing, I'm saying something. I can't smash anybody with the vehicles. There's way turned down nades. You now have one nade, not per life, but per timer. And then the timer goes up and you magically have a nade appear. Bullshit. You know, Halo is always scaling back the features that made me a badass since Halo 2. Okay? Oh, no more nades on the map. Okay, now you can't even get nades when you die. Now you have to wait. So that you don't have enough nades to get good at practicing throwing nades. And plus, they don't hardly hurt anybody. What kind of grenade needs to stick on somebody and explode twice to work? It's nonsense. So then, you have to wonder about the classes. Shoot, too many people this way, ducks, everything. Little kid. The class system. Are some of these a little overpowered or what? Like the Wara can bring itself back to life. I mean, the Hunter runs around and does a zigzag pattern when it's special appears. How do you get a special? Well, timer and your teammates getting specials. So the team that's kicking ass is going to keep kicking ass. Plus, the special is the most new thing in FPS. You don't even have to do anything. Just wait long enough. Play control and pound the ground with the Titan and everybody in the room dies. You wipe out at least three people. Hell, people think you just did that. Walk over the area and the aftermath gets them. A little quake, a little aftershock takes them down. Yeah, that sounded like skill. Speaking of control, that's one of the better game types because there's nothing terribly exciting going around here. The arenas have some mixture of far away and close quarters, but never in the way that you can utilize it to your advantage. Some good hopping on a turret does. Some good getting in a vehicle does. Hardly any. Nobody's fighting over any of the stuff because they're loading out with sniper rounds. No sense to fight over any vehicles in this game. Then you have a circumstance where no one is talking to each other. I've played this game like 15 hours. Never come across anybody with a mic because the game will not allow you to talk to people. You have to specifically sign up for their fire team. It doesn't matter if you're standing next to them in the open world. Hell, being in a six man team together in Crucible is not considered a fire team by Bungie and Activision's logic. I call bullshit. If I'm on your team, I want to be able to hear you. I'm not saying we have to have proximity chat. I don't need to hear the enemy. You know, it is kind of funny when you kill somebody and they, they say a little something as they're dying. I like that. I'm going to turn around here. But what I'm saying here is I can't coordinate with anybody. It's entirely impossible. Your fire team can only have three people on it. So you hop in Crucible for a six on six match. You got three people not working together for sure. Now the times when I did go in there with three people, we had an advantage because you could bet the whole team on the other side is just running around like chickens with a head cut off, trying to figure out where the flags are and who has a special ready. It's, it's like Bungie is good at first person shooters and they try to make an MMO 
with some first person shooter elements, such as the combat system. And they completely forgot about how people on consoles want to communicate for their MMO experience. Now, how does this translate to the story where you're just grinding things out on your own because no one will talk to you in the hub world? Which, the hub world being the tower makes you wonder, what's the purpose of that if no one can talk to each other, let alone by proximity? I mean, just at all. If you're not already in a fire team, you're not communicating. It's total nonsense, and I realize they could rectify a lot of this, particularly the chat. I'll tell you this, if they don't, I'm, t I'm selling the thing for 40 bucks on eBay as soon as I can.